Ja, moin. Dark Souls, uh, dark. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm in a bad area. I'm, I'm feeling pretty, like, uh, murdery. But, uh, whatever. Everything will be fine. Eventually. Hello, hello, all right. People are here, well, somebody's here. Wow, it's really dark, what's going on? I'm not in the goodest of places and now I'm just, I'm just doing this again. Haven't gotten any work done, can't get any work done, can't feel like it, can't do, can't, cannot. Not in the right mind. I don't know what to do. Uh, yeah. Seems a bit loud. Don't turn that down. What's up, Gibbo? Um... I don't know, just like, uh, the, the, the usual, it's like sadness caused by not working and, um, a, an, un an inability to get anything started or done. You know, this is the, that, that, that old cycle. I don't know, I don't know what, how to start anything and I feel terrible constantly because I'm not doing anything. And so the only thing I want to do is this. I just I just want to play Dark Souls. I just want to play video games and that's that's what I'm going to do. I'm trying to try and forget about it for now. Obviously this stream is not a good idea in any stretch, but it it is it uh. Not that it's a bad idea for my mental health. I enjoy this quite a lot. It's just Oh, nobody cares. Nobody cares, and I'm an internet guy, and that's like... That's what you gotta do, you're an internet guy. If you if you ever fail to live up to stuff, then yeah, people are gonna call you a spoonie. They're gonna make fun of you, you're gonna... You're gonna, you're gonna try and ruin your life because you're not making a fucking internet series. Yeah. Help you get out of that rut. Yeah, me too. Oh, I don't know whether to try drinking or not. I'm drinking right now, but I don't think it's gonna gonna work. In the work that it, in it, it, I don't think it's ever gonna work in the way that other people have it work. Well, you know, they just need a good old drink, and then they're good. Then they they can work a little more. I just, I, uh, I mean that like, uh, I'm drinking to null the pain of life. And that's something I always like as a kid, I'm like, oh, that's just in the movies, nobody actually does that. Well, everybody does that, everybody should do that, because life is fucking terrible. I totally get it. I totally get it. absolutely everybody drinks to forget or to feel better about stuff. Just die, for fuck's sake. Also, I forgot to put my laptop here, so I can't really see the chat. I have my phone. Look in there. It's really small. So it won't be very helpful in seeing what people are saying. So I might not respond that much to the chat. But I will try, because I want to read it. Has anybody ever come at you for not making videos? I feel like the people who like your content would should be chill with stuff. I mean, people are chill with stuff. But, uh, there's, like, every so often there's, like, 
like just one person and it was like just fucking make another video and I'm like well it's true it's true I should be making the videos that I said I would make that I said I would try to make that I said I you know oh also the fact that I have a patreon that is monthly that's just like a um a general pressure to like make something And, um, I, I don't feel good about not doing anything because of the Patreon. I need, I need those people to feel like they're not getting ripped off. That's, it's just difficult sometimes, and sometimes I'm just, I'm just not in the mood. Sometimes I just want to sit around, like, it's, it's been extremely hot today, and it's going to be even hotter tomorrow. It's a big old heat wave, and I can't fucking think. I'm waking up, like, sweating. And it's like, this is fucking hell. I'm in hell right now. It's sweltering constantly, and I'm like, I've, I gotta do some work. I can't fucking do anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fucking stay awake all night. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run around outside. I'm gonna sit outside in the cold. To cool me down, and then I'm gonna come in and try and like type something on my fucking laptop. I'm gonna try and type like one thing. Is that guy shooting at me? He is. What do I? How do I get over there? With a nine to five, you can spend your free time without feeling like it. Blah, blah. Being a creator takes up a permanent space in your mind. Yeah, it's not like. I mean, I would like to be able to schedule it like um, a 9 to 5 and then forget about it for some time, but I would actually have to work that 9 to 5. And it's... I mean, at the moment, my, my reasoning for that not being the case is that it's just... I don't always have ideas or a desire to work, but you, that's not a good excuse. Like, um, the ideas thing is whatever, but, like, not feeling like it, like, that, that's not good. You gotta do it anyway. Uh, right now, the problem is that I'm doing, like, stuff that I actually am, like, is this, uh, there is a hard deadline on this one thing, which is not YouTube-related. And I gotta get it done, but I, it's it's also a creative thing, and I can't fucking... I can't fucking handle it. It's too difficult to do. It's the script thing. I'm writing dialogue. It's all cheesy, it's all terrible, and I have to get the entire f pilot episode, the double pilot episode up. I have to write the whole script. I have to get all the dialogue done, and the dialogue that I've been writing is awful, and I hate it, and I need to delete it. And I'm like, well... I can't delete it, because there's no time left. There's only a few days, and I have to fucking finish it. And it's just, like, really stress stressing me out. And then there's all the, the hypocrite stuff, which is stressing me out because of, like... You know, hypocrites are ticking time bomb in terms of, like, internet stuff. You need to be making content. Otherwise, one, uh, your channel won't grow. But more importantly, patrons will get upset, and patrons will leave. And they already have been leaving. But they've been coming back. Um, or rather, new people have been joining. And it's just sort of, like... I I hate deadlines and they make me freeze up and it's really fucking weak and pathetic. I don't like it. I just feel weak and pathetic all the time because I'm not incredibly smart. Yeah. Scheduling creativity never works for me. I have no idea how people can plan out when they'll work on projects. I have a vague idea of how people do it, and it's really just as simple as not caring as much about what you're doing. Like, you care about it, but like, you know that you have to get something done more than you have to get something right, and that's the better way to think about it. But the thing is, with this, like, writing, it's not like YouTube, because it's I'm making a script for somebody else's show, 
and if I do a bad job, they can get another writer. You know, I'm not important. Uh, I would like to have that job, I would like to continue doing it. It's, it's, it's like a challenge, and it's like creative, and it's like a real thing. But if I fucking suck, and I fail to deliver, then I can be replaced, basically. And it's, it's just that feeling of, like, if my YouTube channel fails, I'm like, well, whatever, you know. That, that's just me, that's just my creative stuff that I'm responsible for, and it's fine. But letting someone else down by being bad, it's, it's bad for me in terms of, like, oh, it feels bad, but it also, like, I then miss out on a career opportunity. I miss out on, like, things I can, can do now. Because, like, what does YouTube get you? It gets you more YouTube. It doesn't lead you on to making real things. And when it does, it's because you're so overwhelmingly big that there's, you know, it's probably not even fun. So it's just like, I'm stressing out over the script, I can't write it, and because I'm, I gotta get the script done, I can't work on any of my hypocrite stuff because that's less important at the moment. But I'm still stressing out about the hypocrite stuff because it's just something I need to get done in general. If I was just doing hypocrite right now, it would be a lot easier to just, you know, start working on anything. I'm just, I'm just being a fucking idiot, I'm being a fucking pathetic loser who can't work, uh, can't exist in the real world, so I'm playing Dark Souls because and, and drinking, because that's all I can think to do. That's all that uh, occupies my mind, is I'm just, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting too deep here, but you know, who cares? D fucking Twitch is my therapist. I don't want to have to pay for a fucking therapist. It's, it's, it's literally entirely better to do it like this. Because I had, like, the last stream I was thinking, talking about, like, how I could turn Hypocrite into something easier to make, and I was, like, really happy about that. Like, yeah, that, that's, that's a good angle. I can, I can start working on that. But then I was like, oh, but I gotta do this first. I gotta do this script first. And it just... It took the wind out of my sails, and now, you know, I spent a whole day looking at a fucking laptop screen, like, pacing back and forth, because I didn't fucking know how to continue do working on it. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't do it. Which felt like shit. That? Does that damage him? Oh boy. Oh, forget it. Forget it for now. I'll just I'll I'll be fine. I always get I always come through in the end. It's just like the crunch time. You know, I can I can get through the crunch time. But in between, it's like I may as well just kill myself. Like that's how I feel all the time. In between crunch time and and peace time is war. Oh my god. I didn't know it was a fucking other one. Fucking die. How does anyone write anything? Um... By looking at it, you look. You write something down and it sucks, and then you look at it until it doesn't. You know, you just sort of, you have. Like I don't know how to do it, but the way it always turns out is that I can't do it. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. And then I have one day left, and I'm like, okay, well I've got to do it today. So I drink a lot of tea, and I stay up, and um, I, I put one puzzle piece in the right place. Like, oh, this sentence, if I change it to this, it flows into this other paragraph so much better that the entire thing is fucking perfect, and then it's all fine. It's always about finding that one phrase that actually makes it flow well. 
but until then i'm just like i'm just like putting like stock phrases like the most cliche bullshit terrible you would never want to see this or hear this ever dialogue in a fucking thing and I'm, I'm, i just got to put it there because if i don't have anything there it's it's even di- more difficult writing is fucking hell and i hate it but i i i want to get better at it because it will help me in general cuz you know it's all a, it's basically like the cornerstone of like fiction if i can't write then how can i make any fiction at all it is cool that i'm working on stuff like that that's why i don't want to stop it that's 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 why it's not like school that because it's like in school you can fail but you you didn't do it in the first you didn't start it up in the first place you you weren't the guy who like got recognized you were just told you had to do it but now that it's like a thing that somebody has hired me for or like is paying me to do it's like whoa shit i got i can't let them down i got to work i got to do it got to work hard Hello, Andrazo. I can see my mouse on the corner there. I just moved it. Right. I guess it's a good idea to get this. I guess it is. Yeah, it's a good idea. I don't need to go down. Oh, well enough about all that. I'm playing Dark Souls. I'm getting the faith up. Getting that faith. Oh. It really has been hot. I don't I hate the heat. I don't know about you. But if there's a choice between like blistering heat and blistering cold, I will always choose fucking cold because when it come when it gets hot and I can't take any more clothes off and I can't I there's no refrigeration. It's basically like I'm a puddle of dead human. I'm basically dead. I just I just am alive to witness me being dead. That's what it's like being too hot. Being too cold is like you just fall asleep. Shit. Oh shit. Yeah, when 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 it gets too cold, you you fall asleep. Fucking How did I live? If he was there, I would not have lived. What was I saying? Cold is yeah, cold you can wrap up and when it's cold your computer doesn't isn't dead. It's it's like it's the best of, of all worlds. Apparently I have very cold skin. Or like a cold fingers or whatever. Like when you, you know, you touch someone's hand or you touch them with the with the fingertips after a, like a cold day. Some people just naturally their their hands and t- fingertips are warm, but mine are like icy cold all the time. And uh, it doesn't feel weird, it just feels normal. So when I touch stuff, it always feels really warm. And then they're like, oh my god, your hands are so cold. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, okay, fuck you. 
That was not fair at all. Whenever winter is over and everyone is like, yeah, no, it's long enough, it's finally getting warmer, I always tell them that I can't wait for next winter. Yeah, like, summer is the worst time of all of the year. Autumn is great because now finally it's not going to fucking burn, like, you're not burning every second of every day. And, and spring is good because it's, um, you know... It's it's not warm yet, but it's warm. It's, you know, it's getting it's getting like not cold. Winter's ch sometimes a bit too cold, but like autumn and spring are like perfect. Summer and winter are basically like hell and uh, snow hell. Different types of hell: the hell and then the underworld, like the the Christian hell, and then the Greek underworld. It's all cold and, and gray. Why is there a dog here? It was just there was a dog here last time when I died. Well, whatever. Somebody said something else. Whoa! Hey. Nearly did fall. That's good. I don't really need that now, though. I killed all of the guys. Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Okay. Humanity. Alright, well, I never remember what's over here, but I feel the need to go and check it anyway, every time. Da -da -da. Where do I go? Oh, yes. Just gonna get on a safe place and then look at the chat. It's, if it's really hot, you can you can't cool yourself down easily without lots of fans and stuff. If it's just cold, you can easily put on a couple jumpers. Yeah, that's how I always think of it. If it's cold, you're old. If it's hot, you're a, th a thought. Yeah, yeah, very funny. Ha <laughs> ha, very good, very good. You give a good, good round of applause for that joke there. Oh. I'm nearly getting up to 20,000 souls per level up. What the fuck? Why is it always like there's always from the other direction? Oh, come down. Oh, there's a dog. Now I'm dead. Because he's going to buck the fucking lad. Oh, he isn't. Oh, I like how I was like really fucking existential earlier, and just by saying it, just by getting it out of my system, I'm I'm way better. It's fucking weird how fucking talking is good. Isn't it fucked up? Ooh! Just got it.
Where's the dog? Oh, I don't see him. I like Pink Floyd and I cannot lie. It's pretty good. That was a stark contrast. I got he's shooting shooting at me how did you become a person who can just talk to a ton of people over the internet um how did I become a person who can talk to people over the internet? I mean, that's like the easier way to talk to people, is through the internet. You don't have to think about first impressions so much. You, you can type out the, the message and you say the thing. Oh, fuck off. Um, I'm trying to think of like how to answer that question, because I know that there's like a specific sort of answer that I could give. I mean, like, the the way I learned how to speak to people is kind of weird because it's from the pony days. Like, I didn't really have any internet friends. Well, actually, no, I, I talked to people on World of Warcraft. I guess that was it. Like, I never made friends on forums. I never made friends um, on the internet, but I did make friends in video games, so, like, I would play RuneScape, and there would be, like, a one person who I would briefly talk to about stuff, and, you know, you'd see the text come up over their head, and you have, like, dopamine rushes of, like, well, how do I approach this? How do I talk to this person? How, what do they think of me? And then sometimes you get into an argument uh, in-game with people, and then you like you realize some people are stupid and some people are not stupid. And then you you know there's the same with World of Warcraft like you just, just interact with human interaction. And then um fucking with the pony stuff. I guess I was quite proactive, in a sense. Cause I it was like I I'd wanted to talk to Digi because I liked him. And I saw him. I think I had got his attention by making a certain video, uh, which was compilation thing. Like, I, w I was making videos that were, like, posted on the site that everyone went to, Equestria Daily. So he knew about me, basically. But he didn't know anything about me, who I was. He just knew that he had seen the videos I made. And it was just like, I... I'm trying to think what happened. I think we were playing Legends of Equestria, and I fucking saw Digi as the pony. I'm like, wait, is that Digi Brony? And so I think I already had him on Skype because I just asked him on Skype somehow. I don't remember how that worked, but or or, or maybe I talked to him or something. I joined him on Skype and then I talked to him for the first time, and that video was somewhere. I think I have that video. Or maybe Digi does. Somewhere it's uploaded. I don't know what I'm, where I'm going with this. Maybe I'm not a answering your question at all. Let me look at the chat. Well, in I mean in streams and videos. Oh, okay. In, in, in streams and videos, um, you know, practice is the obvious thing. Like, talking to... Like, if you've never talked to a camera, it's very strange. If you've never talked into a microphone by yourself in your room... It's very strange the first time you do it, but after you do it a couple times, it becomes really easy. Um, it becomes not weird, and by that point, you're you're good. You can talk to a microphone or a camera as if it was somebody in your room. Maybe even more, like um, uh, like social, socially than you would if it was a real person, because the camera is just there to listen. 
So just by doing it, like like doing the procrastinators podcast, obviously, and the horse cast, and before that, and 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 doing the My Little Pony analysis videos it was like all all that stuff was getting me comfortable with who I who I am and who I sound like. Uh, I didn't really sh- show my face that much, and when I did, I was really, really like. If you go back to my early give and take, uh, give and take stuff where I show my face, I am like incredibly shy, and I've got huge hair, and I'm really shy, and um, I like keeping stuff like that up, so I can see how far I've come, just in general. Like I'm never gonna be like a super outgoing uh, Chad lad, but the way this is really dark. Something's weird about how dark this is. Um, like, I'm never going to be a super chad. I'm never going to be an alpha male in that way. But I I like seeing progress. Baby steps. I'm, I'm slightly better than I was. Sometimes you realize while speaking that you're stupid yourself. Um... I mean, I guess. Yeah, something's definitely up with the brightness settings on this. I gotta change them. This they're, they're way too dark. Let's try and change them right now. That's nicer. What changed the fucking brightness? I don't even know. I remember when I came through here the first time. I sure remember. Oh, I know what I didn't do. I didn't do the um the basilisk area. I should I should go do that. Just because there's probably an item or there or two there that I might want. Bright souls. I've watched your videos and podcasts for a long time. Hey, cool. Thanks for the continued support. God damn it, I want to get the water. Should I get the bonfire? It's weird how with the internet I can kind of talk to you. I mean, maybe it was weird a few years ago. Decades ago. Decades ago. Oh, like a green tide night shirt. That's cool. Um, Maybe it's weird. I feel like now that that... Now that sort of like communication is more normal than... For a lot of people than... The what would be considered normal. Oh, fuck it, I'll just go. I'll just fucking go. Actually, you know, I, I shouldn't just fucking go, because if I die, I've got to go through the, this, the top half of Blight Town, I really do not want to do that. I will, I will sit. Running attacks are so fucking cool.
dumb rats. Dumb fabric. Man, dumb fabric was so funny. Fucking hell. Grabbing all the rat crap. Okay. No, it's fucked. Let me try again. What are you, oh, are you doing the thing? The Germa Jupiter. I think that's... I said it was Germa Moon last time, but it looks like Germa Jupiter. Oh, no! Okay. Alright, this is where I wanted to be, so there's nothing wrong there. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. No, none of that. None of that. These babies are small. I was asked to download Gwent from GOG, but I can't find the damn download button for some reason. Fuck. Oh. What? What do you mean? Why would you post that in the t uh, the chat? I don't know nothing about downloading GOG. Damn it. Ring of the Evil Guy. You you found it. Okay. Well, don't not find it again. Fucking piece of shit. Jumping in this game is the worst thing ever. Like I've got to run and press it before I turn the corner. And it's just a humanity, it's not even interesting. Du, 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 du. Ah, well, what do you want to talk about? You guys want to talk about something? Or are you, are you okay just watching me silently play Dark Souls? I get a feeling that, you know, as much as streams are for me, I like to make them entertaining enough for people to watch if they so choose. And sometimes I don't have something, anything to say. Alright, this is the bottom. Uh, that's the basilisk, so this is the rat. Nothing. Absolutely nothing to it. Funny. Ah, oh, let me, let me, but, uh, projects, work, 
doing stuff. Oh my god, it's stressy full. Full of stress and rubber bands. Oh, I'm just lightening it. I'm lightening about it. Oh, I could go to the painted world. That's what I was going to do. Let's do that. That's fun. It's a fun time. I was supposed to draw something yesterday, but I accidentally took a 12-hour nap. You know what? In my Patreon podcast, I said I would go full Twilight Sparkle, and I didn't really know what I meant. I, what I wanted to do was just organize my life. But it's not as easy as just saying I'm going to go full Twilight Sparkle. I, I, I really got to, like get a huge sheet of paper and like write down everything. And I suppose in the process of doing that tomorrow or tonight, yeah, I'll, I'll do that tonight. I'll get a big piece of paper or a book and I will write down with a pencil every single video idea I have every single one, every single video idea, every single like podcast and thing I want to continue doing, every like project I ever want to work on, just to write it down. Not necessarily to schedule when to do it, because that's too hard to imagine how to do that. Oh, fuck you, you fucking cunt dog. Didn't even, didn't even fucking reach him. I, I, I just want to write it down because I feel like writing it down would help me mentally understand the, the, the stuff the amount and the importance and I really need to like okay fuck you a whiteboard would be great for something like that I want a whiteboard but I don't have money or nor do I have a real well I, I guess I do have a place to put it uh, I could fucking spend on a whiteboard. I think it would improve my life quite a lot, actually. I've been thinking about it, and I'm like, ah, oh, they're always way more expensive than I imagine they are. It's like a, a decently sized one. It's like 40 pounds. I'm like, fuck off. Fuck right off. But then, it is really helpful. So maybe it's worth that much. Yeah, fuck it. I'll buy it. I'll buy it, and then when it arrives... Well, then, well, then I'm waiting for something to arrive. And that's gay. Hey, I got him. Didn't even aim. Well, that was a big fail on everyone's part. Yeah, 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 yeah. I fucking hate these fire guys. For some reason, they just... The animations have no wind-up, and you can't really get away from them. You have to wait for them to finish whatever they're doing, and then you can cautiously approach. Otherwise, you will die, and they always dodge. Like, they always get a hit in. It doesn't make any sense how, like, every single small enemy in the game is perfectly, you know, dodgeable, counterable. You can you can, you can can gauge when they're going to do stuff. But the, the fire guys, they have, like, five or six different attack animations, and enough of them, like, are hard counters to the way you would react to other ones. So, like, if you if you approach them in any way, there's a very high chance that you're going to get hit unless you wait for them to finish whatever they're doing. I just don't like that. It just really upsets me that that enemy is, exists in that way. Especially since fire is, like, staggers you no matter what you're doing. Instant guaranteed death. Just pisses me off. Now let me think. Let me think for a little bit. I guess the painted world... 
Yeah, 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 I guess this is in the direction of the painted world. What is it? What else in the Dark Moon Gardens is there? There's the there's the place with the ring. I beat Sif. I beat the butterfly. Don't know. I'm trying to think. Obviously, beat the the normal things, the Taurus demon and all that. How about writing it down tonight and then copying it? I could. I could. Ah, this is the worst part of any game. It's when they all come down here and you just have to fucking wait. Because they're slow and they're stupid. And they won't let you sit at the fucking bonfire. Hey gamers, hey Skipoku. What can I do down here? I think I can kill everything down here in the land of the ghostlies. I would like to know, does faith kill ghost? That would be interesting to note. Because I'd never really thought about it, never tried it. Maybe it kills goats. What's for lunch? Bitch. It's 11 p.m. You can't have a dinner at such a time. Ghost town. I've got Wrath of the Gods. That's good. That's a good one. Oh, well, I guess he's living. So I have the transient curses. I feel like there's a special type of weapon that can kill ghosts. Maybe it isn't faith, maybe it's magic. But that doesn't seem right. I'll just I'll just figure it out. Does this work? Nope. Alright, goodbye. <laughs> I don't really want to deal with them until I have the Uh I don't know. Did you see that 3D punk Tommy Oliver made? I did. I saw that shit. It's pretty cool. It's like a pumpkin girl, but in three dimensions. I really gotta continue Bale Jape. Oh, yet another fucking thing to do. Oh, yet another obligation to myself. That's fine. I've got too many things. That's why I need to go to full Twilight Sparkle. I need to get. I need to get a long list. I need to get like like, like a roll of parchment. I don't think you can buy. Well, you can. You can buy rolls of paper. Actually, I, that, no, it's not a good idea to do. But I kind of like the idea of buying a, a, going, finding a, get a, getting a thing, a roll of paper, and writing it in a line, and then having a fucking scroll about it. Because they didn't make sheets back then; they just made a whole lot of one thing and rolled it up, and then you unrolled it and cut it as you desired. All right, painted world of Ariars. Oh, by the way, Petrus, you are going to die. Homewood, mm, I may as well fucking get it right now. May as well get it right fucking now. No, not quite enough. 
That's not enough. What am I, gay? It's 200. I need 400. But now I only need 200. And I'm getting me for it. Whatever. Get the only good one left. Alright. I'm gonna go get my power. Bell Jape should be an obligation. No, it's not. A, I didn't mean it like that. It was just sort of like... It's a thing I want to do. Like, I'm not obligated by other people, I'm obligated by myself to get that done. And so it is an obligation in a sense. Like, I want to do it. But there's things to do. There's things to do in a row. There's too many things to do. How do you... How does anybody do anything? I don't get it. All right. Here we go. Oh, it fucking can, Petrus. That all humanity? No. Let's see what else I can buy from the lady. She probably has like one thing. And then she'll die. Actually, I'm trying to think what happens. I think if you buy all of the stuff from her, you buy. Force, great heal, seek guidance. I mean, I already have them. Do I have to buy it again? I'll buy it from her, just because I can. Was I saying something? I forget. Do you have any g g g g g g gamer insights into the new Super Smash Brothers game? Well, I don't know. It's not out. That's my insight. It's fucking not out. Whoa! Did they test? Did they say something new about it? You're gonna get to be able to fuck the other players when you win. With hardcore sex scenes. Whoa! I didn't expect that. Is that is that what it, what it is? Have you read that fairy tale, Silarenda? I'll grind your bones to make my weed. Yes. I wrote that one. Come at me, bloke. Nice. The uh, strong attack with this one, since it's not the thrust, it seems to increase the range a bit beyond what you would expect. Unless that's the lightning. Oh shit, I should totally... Didn't even fucking work. Silarenda. Do people know where that's from? I feel like I feel like it's old enough now that it's like, oh yeah, not everybody knows what that is. Actually, now that I think about it, it's almost a decade fucking old. And by almost a decade, I mean five years, six years. I'll just leave you be, I don't give a shit. 
I don't know, just general thoughts or speculation. Maybe it makes more sense just to wait. Um, it does. I don't, I don't speculate on Super Smash Brothers because what are they going to do? They're going to have a few new characters. They're going to get rid of a couple old characters. Um, but I, uh, I don't know. Like I could, I could like hope. I could make guesses of like what I would, uh, or not guesses, because nothing is like would. You got no information. You've no idea. But like, um, I can just hope for certain things. I can hope that um, they get rid of most of the final uh, the, the the Fire Emblem characters and replace them with actually good Fire Emblem characters. Because surprisingly, thus far, they have. S like succeeded in having the worst roster that they could fucking possibly have in terms of fire fire emblem they have all the least interesting all the same blue fucking hair so like fuck off where's hector where's Ephraim? fucking erica would be great but no we got to have the blue haired the same looking people and then Robin, which isn't a fucking character. I'm really upset of the way Fire Emblem has been represented in, in fucking Super Smash Brothers because it just it makes me look like a freak for being a fan of Fire Emblem because that's what lo that's what a lot of people know about Fire Emblem is that um, they're they're all the fucking anime bullshit people. They all have blue hair, and the only games are the ones on 3DS, which are the worst ones. And it's just like, fuck. Nobody knows, nobody understands my prestige that I have because of the way they're represented in Super Smash Bros. Fire Emblem 7 is fucking great. If you don't understand, then you're gonna die. You can be killed very easily. Hello, it's me, the murderer. <laughs> I'm the new character. I, uh, I'm quite similar to other characters, but I kill people. I understand that that is also very similar to other characters. Oh, ho, ho. Yes. Dude, what if they put Pumpkin Smash? Oh my god. All I would need to do is get my comic licensed by Nintendo. Or something. I feel like if they haven't put Shovel Knight in, and yet they have a Shovel Knight amiibo, I feel like they're not going to ever do stuff that is cool. Like, put Pumpkin, you know. Like, what do I, what, what do I think the funny... Like, remember when Wii Fit Trainer was like, Whoa! What the fuck? That was a funny little thing. Um, but like, uh, no one cares now. It was just funny for as the announcement. I feel like they're gonna have a funny for the announcement sort of thing. Obviously the octolings are in there, the inklings or whatever. I have an inkling that uh, there's gonna be an inkling. <laughs> you know what I mean. What is Fire Emblem? Dude, the waifus dude that makes a game, dude. Yes, Fire Emblem has become a fucking embarrassment. Um, I haven't played Fates, but everything I've seen of it has made me upset, because they were going sort of in the right direction with Awakening, you know, by making it... Uh, the, the characters look kind of goofy, which was a step up from how they looked in the GameCube and the Wii version, which was no animation whatsoever. They're just like models that go, huh, heh, yeah, fucking terrible. And uh, you know they were making the characters look more goofy, and and there was a lot of like cool like stuff in the battles, and the battles were kind of fun and the stuff. The story was sucked in Awakening, and most of the characters sucked. I was waiting for like a good character to arrive, and nothing happened. You know, you know when you're like in a thing, and you're like. You're used to, you know, you. it gives you a feeling of, like, a really good thing. I can't fucking believe this cunt 
doesn't even get staggered. Oh, uh, I forgot where I lost my train of thought. Oh no, yeah, like the Fire Emblem Awakening. I wanted it to be good. Fire Emblem. Am I? Are you fucking serious? <sighs> Fire Emblem sucks. That's what I feel. That's all I had to say, actually. Now that I've been put all the way back here, that's all I can think of. I hate Fire Emblem. Let's see if I can run past these guys. Story in Fire Emblem 7 was fucking great. It was gripping, it was fucking tragic, it was scary. There were loads of characters that I loved, and a, a fair few that I didn't give a shit about. But that was the thing. You know, Fire Emblem, there's so many characters, and they're so different that there's no way you could love all of them. It's all about getting your favorites and, and using them as your team, that's the, the appeal. But Fire Emblem Awakening, there's like one person, it's Tharja. Tharja's cool. Um, because she's fucking interesting, and every other character is like, okay, so that's like the, the tier 2 character, like, y y you have your Fire Emblem game, you have like tier 1 characters, like the characters you actually want to play as, or to have in your party, and to use all the time, and, and see all of their support conversations, and they're, because they, they look cool, and they have an interesting quirk, and they're, they're like, they're just, they're just well written, they have an interesting, like, backstory or past that is like, revealed through support for conversations, and it's like, that's the tier ones, and like, like, Fire Emblem 7 and 8 have so many tier 1 characters. In fact, I think 8 has more. Like, 7 is, is good, but there's, there's way more characters, well, not way more, but like, a lot more. Uh, actually, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll have to look at the rosters, but like, there's definitely a lot. There's a lot in both of those games. Fire Emblem, fucking Radiant Dawn, I remember none of them. You know, the GameCube one, Ike was there, and then there was the lady who with red hair, and uh, who was basically just Seth again. And Seth wasn't even uh, that interesting in 8. And then uh, that, uh, there's nothing, there was no, there's no one else, there was no one else in that game. And I, 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 they had stupid fucking furry things that you could only get one of, which I hate. I always hated that. The stupid fucking furries. Um... What do I do? Can I not... Can I not get it back? Do I have to go through the whole level because of this? Oh my god, and I can't even get the fucking bonfire up there because she's dead. So this is gonna be the longest, most aggravating let's play of this area in the entire universe. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Fire Emblem... Fire, yeah, tier 1 characters. Loads. Radiant Dawn has, like, one, and it's probably Ike, because he's all right. But the the animations in those games sucked. They they were a really big step down from the animations in the GBA games. Like disgustingly low, because it was in 3D and they just didn't know how to make good looking 3D animation that was fun. Uh, it just sucked. So there's that. And then you have Fire Emblem Awakening, where they try to make the the thing a little bit more interesting, a little bit like the animation was like a little bit more cartoonish, a little bit more like like good. But then I think about like the characters I like, and it's just Tharja, and there's no one else. There was that stupid kid with the pot on his head, and the only reason anybody plays as him is because he has unreal growth stats. I'm not gonna live. I'm not gonna fucking live. God, I can't believe this fucking bullshit. Having to do this again. Um, what was I saying? Fire Emblem sucks, that's, that's basically it. And then Fire Emblem Fates, as far as I can understand, I don't know anything about the, the way the game is, but like, 
um, maybe the game's exactly the same as Awakening, which is like, it's alright, but the, everything I've seen, everything I've heard about the characters in Fates is like, this is a big fucking setback, because they're just, like, especially the translation was fucking awful, and, like, characters have no dynamicness, they're just like... I'm so fucking upset. This is going to take hours to just get to the fucking thing. Oh. I'm so mad. It's going to take fucking hours. What are people saying? Fire Emblem of Awakening characters are TV tropes pages. I felt like some of them were kind of stupid and a couple were alright, but the story itself had no emotional weight. Like, nothing happened. It was just a war happened, and then you beat a guy, and then the rest of the war happened, and it was really boring. The time travel stuff wasn't well done, it wasn't interesting, it was just sort of like, I came back in time. I don't even remember whether there was time travel, but it feels like there was, and it wasn't very well done. Man, what the fuck? Why does everything I like suck? Dark Souls is the only game that has been good since Fire Emblem. Dark Souls, like, 1, Demon Souls, and Dark Souls 3, and Bloodborne, are, like, the only good games in the, the last 200 years. It doesn't make any sense. Why does everything suck? I moved the elevator already, and I should be able to use the lever, but I didn't see it, so I thought I can't. Well, I'll show you. I mean, I don't think an elevator or a lever would fucking appear. Anyway, that rant I went on, I could turn that into a Fire Emblem video. The only problem is I wouldn't be able to make it very well. It would just be like, like exactly that, like, Ah, uh, fucking Fire Emblem sucks. What the fuck? Look, there's no lever. There's nothing. Because this is how the game starts. I mean, unless there's like a secret lever for when you get it. I mean, wh where would it be? Is it down here? Oh, I forgot about this. What is it? Demon tit. Yeah, so like, I've, I've just got to go back round. I've got to do the long fucking gay trail. I'm going to check around here, though, just in case. Just in case they have, like, the decency to give me that. Because it's not that un impossible to, like, move it back and then die and not have a, the right bonfire. Well, fucking people told me to kill Gwendolyn to get a sunlight thing, so that I could kill Ornstein and Smo. Um, so... whatever. I just gotta take it, like... the slowest you could possibly fucking take it. I've gotta take ten hours to get back. If I take nine hours, I'm gonna die, and then I'm gonna have to do another nine hours. 
So I have to make sure I take ten hours to get back to where I was. That's how it fucking works. Oh, goodbye. Man. I should never do a second attack. I should never do a second attack. If I do a second attack, I'll fall off. That's just how it is. Okay, I've got to get this guy to come all the way over here, and he's not going to, of course. Oh, he did. Thank you for that. Right, I beat the game. There's nothing that. There's nothing deadly left. Everything is easy compared to just this part, and I can't believe I have to do it again. That's the fucking worst thing in the fucking universe. Having to do this twice. Now what? That's funny, does it twice. Okay, get the fucking bomb fire down at the bottom. Maybe you should use Watg. What's Watg? Wrath of the Gods? No, I, I feel like they'd interrupt that. Because I have to, like... I take even one second. Like, they wouldn't attack me if I was just holding my shield up, but as soon as I'm doing something, they're going to throw a knife, and I'm going to lose my balance, and they're going to jump at me and kill me. And it's just like, I knew it would not work. That's why you got to go slow. Right, things I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy a whiteboard right after this. I'm gonna go on Amazon, I'm gonna find like a big old whiteboard, some pens, you know, thingy. I'm gonna figure out how to put it on my wall. And I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna have a whiteboard. And I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to think for a long time about stuff. Fuck off. Fuck off. Markov. Kalashnikov. Stop. I am so upset, I'm so fucking mad, I rolled, but he turned around instead. Well, I'm dead. Uh, that kills him. Sure does. Man. 
may as well use it on this last guy. Still fucking hit me. Alright. After a fucking millennia, I did it. I did it and I did it. I want you to do it. My favorite, my favorite zone in all of video games. The perfect world of Ariamis. It's everything good about Dark Souls in one small space. Um, I think... I think, uh... What do I think? <coughs> A lightning sphere. Ooh, not quite powerful enough to kill a bitch. That was pretty nice, Hippo. Thanks. I know most people say that just about anything, but uh, thanks. Oh, fuck you. This isn't gonna work. Worked. It's always good to have a thingy. Didn't lock on. Would have locked on if he fucking locked on, but he didn't lock on. Uh, yeah, I, it's a meme, but like most people, I think mean it for real anyway, so it's fine. I can't believe none of those hits actually fucking registered. That was so fucking close to actually hitting him. And that as well? Alright, this is a big fucking waste of time, I'm gonna get poisoned anyway. No? Fine, good. These guys uh, always fucking around, always being a blobs. See, I, like, if it was other places, I would have been able to kill that guy before he got up. But not now, not here. Alright, let's open the door first. That's the important part. It's to open the door. And then I can explore properly. Oh, you know what? Here's the here's the coolest part of all of this. Du, 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 du.
That guy isn't supposed to be there. There's no one supposed. There's supposed to be no one there. I can't fucking believe that fucking happened. I just wanted to open that one gate right there. It was fucking right there. I'm so upset. I fucking hate this game. This game sucks. This world sucks. Kill everything again. <sighs> Is it worth running past them? It isn't really. It isn't worth running past them because I'm going to lose all the souls. But I don't want to fight them. I just really don't want to fucking fight them. I'm not even going to fucking think about it. I'm not even going to consider it. Like, he's not there. Where was he? Where was he supposed to I can't fucking believe how fucking wrong that was. Right, now I've got the opportunity of a lifetime. Now that... Yeah, kill me. I don't give a fuck. I opened the door. The game is over. I win the entire game. I can I'm level 99 already. That's how you grind for souls. It was a tutorial. This whole thing was a tutorial. You're supposed to get Wrath of the Gods and then you do that. You just keep doing it until you're level 99. Faith. How does he get me? How does he fucking get me? Ah. <sighs> So this rate I can level up each time I go there. I'm so annoyed that that doesn't kill him in one hit. I don't know what to do other than beat the whole area and then leave, level up my sword and then come back. That's not impossible. That's not possible. It's not possible. Oh shit, the soul ring. I should get that. Let's say it staggered him that time. Why did it stagger him that time? Anyway, this isn't really important for now. Because getting souls and leveling up is a grindy thing, and also it's not really important for right the moment. Because, um. Yeah, the, I could get the, the soul. Actually, do I have that? Let's check if I have that. Do I have the thing? I don't. I don't have the soul increaser. 
How does the first one kill all of them except the one directly in front of you? I don't know. Just a silly little thing of Dark Souls and. Why are they so tough? Hey? They're fucking babies. I, I know I haven't uh, upgraded any of my stats. But aside from faith, but come on. Alright, I can level up again. Yeah, good. <clears throat> this room's too hot. Ah, fuck it, I don't want to play anymore. The world is too hot right now. Yeah, it's going to take ages. Alright, I'm going to stop streaming here. I'm fucking baking in, in this fucking room. I need to sit outside in a pool of blood, my own, and uh, die. Oh, and buy an Amazon whiteboard. Thank you for watching. I'm fucking gay. And that's not okay.